Hi, this is Alex Paul with Open Systems Media and Embedded Computing Design, and I'm here with JP Myers from TTN Mapper. Now, obviously it involves maps, but I, um, I understand it's a project, it's an open source project, you're not an actual corporation, you're not a profit organization. Yeah, yeah exactly, yes. Yes, so, so we're, a, we're, we're a project um, uh, which I started a few years ago. As, as a community effort, uh, well, maybe let, let me start with, I started using the Things Network, and my first question was, but where, where is this network? I hear about this on, on the internet, but where can you use it? And the Things Network itself, had, on their website, they had a map of, of a few gateways in Amsterdam, but a gateway like, it, it can reach maybe 50 kilometers, or it can reach 10 meters, and you, you, you don't know this. Um, so I went out, uh, I put up my own gateway, because I lived in a city without any TTN coverage. So I put up my own gateway, and now, now my question was, how well does my gateway actually perform? So I went out with a GPS tracker, measured the, the signal strength, and saw at what distance um, my packets were still received. But now this is raw data in a text file. It's not interesting. So I decided to actually draw this data in color on Google Maps. Um, but Google Maps is something I can use myself. And I, want, I actually wanted to tell other people in our community, in my city, where this network actually works. So I thought I'll publish my maps on a website. And that's how ttmapper.org, the website, was born. And of course, my data on its own is not good enough. So I decided I'll open this entire system up. Anybody can contribute data. So now, that's a quick history. Now we have a, a system that's used by hundreds of people around the world, sending me data every day, uh, millions of packets at the moment, and we're drawing heat maps. Yeah, show so, me here. So, I'll tell so. you what, I'll hold, I'll hold my microphone so you can use both hands. Yeah, just put your microphone down and I'll hold my microphone so you can use both hands for the demo. Just hold it up so the camera can see it. So uh, this is, this is the, the, the website with uh, one of our heat maps. So uh, if I just zoom out, you can see um, we, have, we have data measurements all around the world, South America, North America, Europe, Australia, Asia. And then, so you can, you can roughly see Europe has a lot of things that coverage. And if you, slowly, if you zoom in, the Netherlands has a lot of coverage, Switzerland, Slovenia. Zooming in a little bit. So this, uh, just for the record, this isn't the complete data set. This is a subset of the data I'm using to build the second version of the system. Um, people that use the website, they'll, they'll know the website's really slow because of the amount of data we have. Um, this is the second version. As you, you see, I'm zooming in. It's much faster than the old system, but it's only a subset of the data. And now we're zooming into Amsterdam. Zooming a little bit in on the train station. And as I zoom in, you can actually see the conference location. I'm not sure it's the conference location. Oh, yes, here's the conference location. This big red spot, really good things at the coverage. Yeah, where we are standing at the moment. So I, I guess this, this answers your original question. Yes. What this is. And this, this is lovely pictures of, I, I know people that just browse through the coverage. Like, like you always did with Google Earth when it was new. You'll just browse through Google Earth for hours on end, see what the world looks like from, from this car. And with this tool, you can actually just browse and you see how, how well the things they took here in Germany. Düsseldorf has things that took gateways. Yeah, I'm actually on this map because it's the second version. Uh, it's still under development. We don't, we don't show the gateways at the moment, so we don't have the gateway markers, but the heat map already shows you how well the coverage is there. Very nice, very nice, JP. Very cool. Now, so basically this is provided, so you could actually use this and apply it to whatever application or idea you want. Well, um, I guess the, because this is very specific for the Things Network, um, the biggest use for this would be, for a company, would be um, if they, for example, sell a temperature sensor or a weather station. So this company comes, they put a weather station on the shelf in a shop, and they say, this weather station uses the Things Network. But now, somebody that buys it needs to know where will this weather station work. So now you can actually tell your customers, listen, this is open uh, community project, the, the TTN mapper, go and have a look on the maps and see if there is actually coverage where you live and where you want to install this weather station before you buy it. So I think that's for, for, for the community network, that's the biggest use. Another use would be, in the future, with a rewrite, we will be able to support private networks. So if you have a, a, a private LoRa network, you can, uh, 
uh, we don't have a business case yet, but maybe you can contribute to the project and we can spin up a private instance of TTN mapper for you and we can start mapping your private networks coverage. And in that case, it's the same story. On your private network, you want to install a sensor at a specific point, you need to know if there is coverage or not. Of course, you can do simulations to know if there is coverage or not, but simulations aren't always perfect. It's a really good indication, but with this tool, you actually know there is reception because somebody was actually there to measure. So, There's your answer. Yeah. Now, thank you, JP. So, what's the future for TTN Mapper? Well, at the moment, uh, so I'm busy with a rewrite, making everything much faster. The amount of data we got in the past year was tenfold the data we had last year. So one order of magnitude more data. So the main focus at the moment is actually supporting this amount of data. 10 times more data, stay mosting as we had. So a legacy system, we, we, we have to do a rewrite, unfortunately. It's taking a bit of time. So then the near future goal is rewriting the back end to support this amount of data. The front end, the visualization will be roughly the same because our heat maps, it will say the same, but we're adding a few more features like a map that will show you the number of gateways that received you rather than signal strength. Because the number of gateways, if you do um, localization with LoRa, um, you need to be received by three, four or more gateways. So a map that will show you if you have coverage from four gateways is really important. So that's a feature we're adding. We're adding a few more nice visualizations and then this type of data, sometimes people, they make a mistake. So we get data that's incorrect. At the moment, it's a lot of manual effort to delete incorrect data points. So what we're going to add in the new front is also a login feature. So you can log in, you can see your own device's data, and you can delete your data. So for privacy reasons, that's also good. So if you, by mistake, mapped around your house too much, you don't want people to know where you live, then you can just log in, delete that data. Whereas at the moment, it's possible. You can just do a, do a request, and we can delete the data. But in the future, it will be much easier. You can just log in yourself and delete the data. Very nice. So to maintain privacy while still providing yes. Yes, functionality. Yes, exactly. Very okay then, JP. So I really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. It's a busy show. What are your thoughts of it, by the way? Before I Good let you show. go, it's amazing how many people came out here today and yesterday from all over the world. So many companies here doing amazing things. And version three of the things they do. That's just the, the cherry on the cake. And I heard something about gateways. I, I love to have a gateway in my hand, which can install on, on another mountain in my home city. <laughs> giving more things that are coverage and more things to map. Very cool, JP. I really appreciate you taking the You're time. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.